today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content and I don't know if you can see this little fluffy butt behind me. Hey. It's Ines that wants to hang out with me. And today I am going to do a throwback video and I'm going to talk about my favorite eyeshadow palettes of 2019. I did, not that long ago, a throwback to my 2018 favorites, eyeshadow favorites, eyeshadow palette favorites. And you seem to like that video, so I'm continuing this mainly because I want it myself and I think that you want it too. So I have uh, taken out the palettes that I talked about then. And uh, yeah, yes, we, we, we are just going to dig into this. I'm not, I don't know what I'm waiting on. Maybe just for myself to stop talk. And uh, okay, I'm just going to rearrange things that you can't even see. So I said, I started to talk about Lethal because 2019, I think it was the year that I bought Little for the first time or in the end of 2018. I can't remember, but I talked about them as a favorite of 2019. And I had one, I had this magnetic palette with shades, not with these because I rearranged these so much. <laughs> I was like, okay, I think this game is dangerous because I think I'm going to want to buy more. So did I? the shade missing here yeah I have another little I have put some other shades somewhere here I have a here as well but yeah and I was like okay this is going to be dangerous because I love it and I have these one I have this one this one this one this one this one uh, this one. So yeah, um, it was dangerous. I love lethal. I have done a lethal week on my channel where I use the most of the shades that isn't part of a collection. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I want to talk about it more. But yeah, I still love lethal. And I want to buy more. And I also talked about Kaleidos because 2019 was the first time I tried Kaleidos and I fell in love. It was like love at first sight. I did use the sci-fi green palette first and I was amazed. I was blown away. I was head over heels and then I bought all the six pen palettes and one of those six pen palettes became my favorite. I had such a hard time to, de to decide which one was my favorite and I I still have some issues. Today I actually used this Kaleidos Flower Punk. This is not my favorite and the palette I'm going to show you now. I love it but it is not my favorite palette from Kaleidos anymore. And it's the VR Neon. I love this palette though. This is an amazing little neon palette. And the two shimmers in this palette, these two, they are just amazing. This palette is discontinued for some reason, which nobody knows. I still love this palette and I want to use it so much more, but like, I don't know. It's almost six colors and I'm not super creative, so I don't know what to do, but I love this palette. I'm so happy I have this. This I got in my first PR kit from Kaleidos and I have got some other PR from Kaleidos. Not the latest, the latest one I got was um, Club Nebula, but the flower punk I did by myself, and yeah, I love this still, but it's not my absolute favorite palette from Kaleidos. And then I also talked about the palette from Eva's Place. I I actually started to think about this when I did my 2018 favorites that I was like in love with Eva's Place before. I think the palettes are good, but it's nothing. I don't use them anymore and I don't know should I start with the decluttering use place palettes maybe and I haven't bought one since I haven't bought an F this year maybe it was a year ago since I bought I don't know 
but this palette is not going to go anyway, anywhere. <laughs> Even if I start to decluttering my U.S. Place, this palette will not go anywhere, and that is the Tri palette by U.S. Place. This is amazing. 2019 was actually the year where I discovered green and I still in love with green and this palette was one of the palettes that made me fall in love with green. This is such a cool palette and I have done free looks one palette with this one and the thing that I really love about this you can get so many different looks from this. I did a really dark like halo eye with these two. I still love this look and this shade is so so beautiful and this one as well and this is like a grungy dream so i still really really love this palette it might be my favorite palette from u.s place still i don't know but maybe the only thing the background is maybe not my favorite but it is an amazing palette and this has been one of the palettes that i don't know what the u.s place is doing it's getting like discontinued and then it comes back and it discontinues and then it come back. I don't know what they are doing, but if you like green and can get your hands of this, it's a beautiful palette. And the last two palettes was also from a brand that I wanted to try for so long, but it was like too expensive to get it to Sweden from the US. And then this brand came to Beauty Bay. It's not on Beauty Bay anymore. That is like another story. I don't know what is happening with Beauty Bay. All the fun brands for us that lives in Europe, all the fun US brands are like disappearing from Beauty Bay. And this was one of the brands. And maybe they still have some like lashes or something. I don't know. But I don't think they have any palettes more. And the brand I'm talking about is Ace Beauty. And first I bought the Flare palette and this I fell in love with. I've actually used this kind of much for being me. I've done Free Looks One palette, First Impression, Palette Bingo, I have done Ace Beauty Week and Get Ready With Me. And I just think this is a really good palette with everything. And I like Ace Beauty's formula. I think it's a really good formula. And I love this cider especially. And also this Firefly and Pumpkin. They are amazing. And also this Saffron is really good. And yeah, I still really like this palette. It's not my favorite from Ace Beauty, I think. Or is it? No, I don't think so. But I was so happy that I finally got it. I really, 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 really like it. And it has like everything that I want in a palette, I think. And the other palette from Ace Potatoes I tried that like made my love for green become so much more. It's the Oceanic palette. And it looks like this. I think this actually is my favorite green and blue palette and it is because it has grungy colors as well as normal green shades and like this anemone is amazing and seaweed and algae and seagrass and also these darker blues in this palette and the darker green they are really really good. Blue is a little bit hard to work with and a little bit hard to formulate, but this one, Lagoon, an amazing blue. And I just love like the layout of this. It's easy to like spot looks and you can do... I don't usually do these looks, but I like to have like the opportunity to do them. And it's just mixing a shimmer with matte and have a look. And you have a lot of looks like that from this palette and I think this is a good formula too. I think this might be a better formula than Ace Beauté's Flare. Of course it's Ace Beauté. Than the Flare palette because I think this is more like even throughout the palette than this is. Or is it? I don't know but I like I like both of them. And yeah 
this is just an amazing palette and I am so happy because it was I was thinking about buying this one or is it the Finite 2 from Certify? I think it is that came out did it came out like kind of the same time but I choose this one and I love this one still still one of my favorite palettes and you know what <laughs> that was all it felt like this went very fast and I don't think that my style has changed that much in two years I hope it does <laughs> have had done that what I hope it had had I think and hope it has changed a little bit but yeah I think I actually will do a throwback video for my 2020 eyeshadow palette favorite and see like what has happened in less than a year I can't even like remember which palettes I took the Arcana palette I think I took but I don't know what which more I have no idea but yeah, that was all for this video. I really hoped you liked it and I hope that you also think it's fun and it felt like I talked so fast in this video. I only filmed like 12 minutes and I know that the video is going to be shorter than that. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!